So anyway, guys, I have a little fun story. Not really fun, but something that happened to me recently, and it, it pissed me off. It really pissed me off. So I was in the kitchen a few days ago cooking a magnificent, a beautiful, precisely cooked PB&J. It takes skills to cook a precisely cooked PB&J. What do you think this is, a walk in the park or something? Okay, maybe it is. So I had this PB&J cooked and prepped and everything. It was ready to go, ready to munch on this magnificent creation that I just slaved to cook. Even though it only probably took like less than five minutes. But hey, it took me some time to cook this beautiful thing that we call a PB&J. And I don't take for granted the PB&Js when I make them. Even though it's very simplistic, a PB&J is very delicious for the simplicity of what it is. But before I was going to eat this beautifully made PB&J, I decided to go take a piss because before this, I had a bunch of fucking water. So I was like, I'm going to go take a piss. This sandwich is not going to go anywhere. You know, it's just going to stay here, right? Nope. I, I thought incorrectly, obviously, because when I got back, it disappeared. And you guys may be saying, well, how does that happen? Who took your PB&J? Did like one of your parents or your sister or one of your siblings or something? Nope. Nope, it wasn't my parents because they're at work. My siblings, they don't live here anymore. That narrowed it down to one culprit and one culprit only. And that twisted, sick culprit was my dog. My dog ate my PB&J. She went up to the table and put her head on there and just grabbed it. I'm assuming that's what she did. But somehow she got it. I don't know exactly the precise measurement of what she did to get it. But she got it and ate it. She ate it. I watched her eat it. I watched my dog calmly eat that with like the happiest face ever when I just wanted to destroy my dog. Even though I, I could never do that to my dog. I love my doggy too much. <gasps> my doggy. But either way, I was super fucking pissed because now I have to do a whole nother process of making a magnificent PB&J. The feeling is worse than finding out Santa Claus isn't real. It's worse than when you're a young kid and you step on a Lego piece that you left on the floor because you're too lazy to clean up the whole floor when your mom tells you to, but you decide not to. I know everyone's done that before. If you ever played with Legos, and if you haven't, then you haven't even lived. Like, wh what are you doing with your life? I I'm honestly being serious. What are you doing with your life in that matter? I honestly miss playing with Legos. Those things were the shit when I was a kid. And the G.I. Joes. G.I. Joes back then? Oh my god, those were the shit. Both of those combined were just like an orgasm as a kid. Like, it was the best thing ever. Actually, you know what was better than G.I. Joes and Legos combined? Tech decks. Those little mini skateboards that you play with your fingers. Those things were the best. I would play with those all day. Just all day, you would just hear like a little clicking. Just like... That's all you would hear all day and all night. I remember I used to stay up super late at night just playing with those tech decks just non-stop, making a bunch of ruckus in my room. My parents would get so mad because they would not be able to sleep at all. Me and my friends, we would always bring our little tech decks to school and just trade them and think we're like the coolest shit ever. Especially like when we learned like a new trick or something on them. We would be like, dude, oh my god, that's so cool. And in actuality, we were just looking like stupid fucks. I remember it was so bad in class because all we would do was just play with the tech decks and not even bother to pay attention to what was going on in the lesson. All we would do is just play with the tech decks and all you heard was a bunch of just clicking and loud noises and occasionally you would just hear somebody just yell, OH! OH MY GOD! And then you would get in trouble for that because you're being disruptive. I was just trying to make friends with you, Wally. You don't have to fucking penetrate my booty hole. God. It's going up on a Tuesday. I got your girl something, something she choosing. It's going up on a Tuesday. I got your girl in the club and I'm missing. I know that song's old and all, but for some reason, I just got randomly stuck in my head. I don't know why. Have you guys ever just randomly had an old song that you kind of listened to, like on the radio or something, but out of nowhere, you haven't heard it in like months, but it just out of the bloom, like a wrecking ball as Miley Cyrus, it just hits you and it gets stuck in your head? Yeah, that song's been stuck in my head all day today for some reason. It's going up on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday, and I'm doing some. I don't even know the fucking lyrics. She looked like she just queefed with her face. She's like, oh, yeah. I just queefed so hard, you don't even know it. Ugh. 